Hello, my beautiful Aries dragons. Welcome to your reading for August. So let's get into this. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your support for my channel, my teeny channel. Um, please do like, subscribe, say hi. I do love hearing from you guys. So let's go ahead and see what cards have come out for you. I'm not going to take those two. So... Let's see. So the, the decks I'm using today are the um, Wisdom of the Oracle. We're using the Moonology. I always feel like I say that wrong. And then two tarot decks. So um, let's see where we're going. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Aries. So we have um, Co-Create, Message in a Bottle, and Never-Ending Story. It's like you are trying to work on something or work with someone on something. And then, I don't know, I just, mm, I just heard that they get some sort of message. And then it's like, I, I feel like you may have a bit of a runner chaser uh, dynamic going on with somebody. I don't know if it's like just that this person has unhealed parts of themselves because then we have never ending stories. So it's like, oh, they're doing this again, right? It's so oh, is this what we're doing again? So it's, it's never ending story. So it's a really <clears throat> wonderful dynamic. Um, if it is not in a complete avoidance way, if they need to wake up and realize that they need healing, then this can actually be very positive. If this is you, okay? So I know I like to, I always like to give my signs the benefit of the doubt. Like it's like, no, this couldn't possibly be Aries. But if this is you, I think that you need to like, this message in a bottle, I'm hearing that it causes anxiety. It's like it's a trigger. Um, and every time it happens, you, it sends you into a space that isn't, um, it's not amazing. <laughs> so obviously, or else it wouldn't be a trigger. So there's some healing that needs to be done here by either yourself or somebody in your life. So sorry, Aries, if it's you, I'm totally calling you out. Can we please get, so, um, also, so to mention for August, um, we have the Lion's Gate portal opening on um, August 8th. So it's the 8-8 portal and it's where all kinds of planets are alignment and uh, Sirius is in alignment with, oh, I can't remember them all, sorry guys. But um, you have all these planets that are in alignment and it's a great time for like really super powerful Leo energy manifestation. So if you're interested in that, go look it up. There's tons of other things about it. So just get a pen and paper and just sort of jot it down right now. Look up the Lionsgate portal. It is on um, Monday, August the 8th. So um, yeah, look that up. Very powerful, great manifesting time. And then just three days later, there's also a full moon. So those two going hand in hand are fantastic. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, so it is, um, your commitment is being tested. Look at the bigger picture. You're very close to achieving your goal and a fiery climax approaches. Your commitment is being tested. Now, here's the thing, okay? Don't always assume that your um, commitment being tested is necessarily that you should stay with the situation or with the person. Like I said, it's up to you to determine if this is somebody else, if you should be with them still. In the same breath, if this is you, and you have somebody who's hanging on, and they're letting you do this to them, you might need to say to them, you know what, um, we need to just separate so that I can heal myself. And, you know, just kindly say to them, how I've been treating you is very wrong. So you need to go and heal the parts of yourself as well that allowed me to treat you like this, right? I don't get the sense that whoever's doing this, I don't get the sense that it's 
necessarily horribly toxic, but there's something in it that needs, like there's lots of healing on both sides that need to happen. This, I, if you notice, there's also nothing here that mentions a ton of love. So this could be a partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be an anything ship. Okay. So don't, um, it doesn't have to be love. So if you're sitting there going, oh, you're so wrong, Shannon. I am so painfully single. Then you just say, well, no, but it could be a friend, right? It could, it could be a family member. It could be a coworker or, you know, if you have a business, it could be a partner in your business. Come on, guys. So let's get some cards, please, for Aries for August. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Ooh. I love it when cards fly way back there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly what I've been saying. Okay, let's see what's come out. So first of all, there's a huge mess in the middle. Um, let's see what the background energy is. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Sun in reverse. Something is stopping your happiness, right? So the Sun can never be completely negative, but it also isn't upright. So it isn't this awesome, big happiness. And I feel like you're there's somebody in your life or you who is blocking the full effect of what the sun could be in your life. It still is in reverse. And this is what I'm getting. It's not necessarily negative, but it's not awesomely positive either. It's enough to come out in your reading, right? So there's something here going on and it's... um. Yeah, it's it's just, it's stopped everything. And so here's the thing is the Wheel of Fortune is fire and the sun is also fire. So these are like both, and they're actual just fire signs. Aries, you're a fire sign. This is in reverse. So it's almost like there's something in your life that has taken you and made you not who you know you're, you are. You know how you come across situations or even just little situations. Sometimes something happens and you behave a certain way. It's like, whoa, why did I behave like that? That's not me, right? It's like, why did I even do that? Like, that's horrible, right? It's like, oh, I wish I could go back and redo it, right? So I believe we all have moments like that, myself included. So I'm really interested to see this. Um, look at the bigger picture and you're close to achieving your goal. The star is in reverse. So I feel like you feel hopeless, um, but this is also about something you didn't take care of. You know, when I say that, you're like, mm, there's something that you haven't taken care of, okay? Um, and it's almost like you were afraid or anxious and you went against destiny, right? You know how I was just saying how you, you come across a situation and you don't behave the best way? So it like, say somebody cuts you off and instead of like just sitting back and saying, you know what, whatever, did it hurt anybody? No. Are they a jerk? Probably, but they could also just be, they could be going through a million other things that you may not understand either. Right? So it, that's when small, this is big, right? So there is a situation that has caused you to behave in a way that you don't. And you're just like, why do I keep doing this? That's the star in reverse. Okay, so we have the seven of, um, sorry, we have the nine of pentacles sideways. And so this again is about, um, it's almost like you aren't this way, but it's almost as though you became very materialistic and, and that might be the thing that you're like, why did I do that? Like, why am I so into this, um, you know, style or why did I do this to myself? Right. It's like, oh, this isn't me. Why did I do this? I just keep hearing this. This isn't me. This isn't me. 
so yeah, you have the five of pentacles and it's on the upright, I'm going to call it, but it is sort of moving sideways, right? So this is about, um, I think that the reason, so first of all, this is about a lot of fear. Okay. It's about trying to shield yourself. So I hear that you got yourself into a situation and you really had to put, uh, it's almost like instead of boundaries, you went into isolation, right? And, um, and, and it's, you could have had a financial loss. It could also be something that affected your health. Okay. And so this is about recovering. So as you slowly, believe it or not, as it goes reverse is what you want with this card. So it's slowly starting to make its way around. It's not too sure if it's going to go around, but this is when you recover is when it's actually in reverse. So you want to take your six, of, your five, sorry, of pentacles and flip it upside down because that's when you recover from all these losses. You need to stay out of fear, okay? Yeah, look at this, page of wands in reverse. There was a young energy um, and it might've been misleading. Um, you might've been misled in a situation um, you might have felt, oh, you know, I'm going to go do this. Da, 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 and it didn't work out for you. Your Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, right? So I, something is still in the idea stage. I feel like you haven't dealt with something. And this is what's stopping everything. Because, like, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So um, you could be um, sort of obsessing over someone or a situation that actually isn't into you. You could be sort of um, having from this, like some sort of a trauma bond, and you just really need to learn how to cut it. Um, but, and this doesn't have to be a person, it could be a situation. Because look at this, devil in reverse. So there is, um, this is about recovering from and finding your, um, Finding the things that that had you compromise your boundaries. You're finding your weak boundaries. And it's like, oh, I get it. So the devil is not in the upright. Okay. This is um, about recovering. Okay. And, and moving away from some sort of situation that could have been abusive. But it's also about, um, it's also about a f feeling trapped but finding your way, okay? So you will be finding your way out. Wow, this seems like the world's longest reading, guys. Let's get some more cards. We're just gonna finish it. Ah, guys, okay? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, look at this. You're gonna see the truth. You have the moon. You're gonna start to actually go inside and you're gonna start taking care of you, okay? You're walking away, okay? The Eight of Cups. It, it's, um, make sure that you've taken the steps so you're not running away from it. Make sure you're walking away from it because you're seeing how it's stealing your strength. You're seeing how you've been giving your strength away, okay? You're taking control of your life back. Guys, this is, this is your reading. Um, good reading, right? So I really hear that you really need to like look up the Lionsgate portal, harness that amazing energy, okay? So because you guys are used to dealing with fire, you guys got to get back into your fire state. And the Lionsgate portal is the perfect way for you to start to prepare for it. You don't have to wait until August the 8th if it's not a good time. If you're like, oh, but Shannon, it's a Monday. Do it on the Sunday, right? Set the intentions, that you're drawing in this energy. It's not just when it's aligned that for those like milliseconds in time that it happens. It's the energy surrounding. So no excuses. Okay, Aries. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Bonuses are in effect again for August. So please, if you want a bonus, be sure to watch, share, comment, subscribe, all free. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in your next reading. Thanks guys.